In this problem, we're told when a 9.09 .09 kilogram mass is placed on top of a vertical spring, the spring compresses 4.18 centimeters. Find the force constant of the spring. So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know, which we call Hooke's Law, which basically tells us F, which is the force, is equal to K times X. So when they ask for the force constant of the spring, they're talking about this variable K right here. And so what X is, it's basically the distance that a spring is either going to compress or stretch. So if we want to solve this problem, right, F equals K, which is what we're solving for, right, dividing both sides by X, you basically just want to take the force acting on it and then divide by X, and that's going to give you K. So we have X, which is the distance is going to be compressed, but what is F? So think about the force that's going to be acting on this system. So when we put this uh, object on it, right, which is this uh, mass, it's going to have the force or the weight force pulling it down. So there's going to be the force mg, which is the weight force pulling it down. It's just going to be its mass times g, which is the gravitational or just 9.8, right? It's just the acceleration due to gravity. So the force in this case is just going to be equal to mg. So k is going to be equal to the force mg divided by x. So all we got to do is really just plug in. But keep in mind, x needs to be in meters when you do this. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, let's just start plugging in. So the mass is going to be 9.09 .09 kilograms times g, which is 9.81 uh, or 9.8, whatever you want to use, and then divide by x. So x has to be in meters. Currently, it's in centimeters. So to convert, you just divide by 100 because there's 100 centimeters for every meter. So 4.18 divided by 100 is just 0.0418. So 0 0.0418 meters. Uh, just keep in mind that that's this. And so if you go ahead and do this, you do 9.09 .09 times 9.81 and divide by 0 0.0418, you're going to get K equals 2,133.322 and so on. I'm just going to round the whole number. So 2133. And then keep in mind what we measure K in. So K is measured in Newton meters. Because keep in mind force is measured in Newtons. This is in meters. So it's in Newton. Sorry, not Newton meters. It's Newton per meter. So Newton over meter essentially, so 2,133 Newton over meters or Newton per meter. But yeah, so this is going to be K or the spring constant. So yeah, this is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.